Mental math to multiply. This class will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially in not getting trouble when we talk about monthly installments. Do not forget. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. See you. Bye bye. Hello, hello, hello! If you're here, that means you found the best channel in the world and you're here to learn math. I know, I know. Just because I said we are going to learn mental math to multiply, you're giving me this face. Uh uh, guys, we have a strategy. Do not worry, things will be easy here. Remember that. So let's read here how many different ways you can find the product of 14 times 26. Mm, how many different ways you can find the product of this? Everybody knows the product is the answer, the final result of a multiplication sentence, right? So, if you said, teacher, no one, I don't know how to do this, please, I want to leave this channel and I don't want to see this video anymore. Mm, if you said that, you're wrong. Let's see here. I will start. I will do like this. I know that multiplying by 10 is way easier. So, I will do like this, 10 times 26. Then I will do 4 times 26. Hey, teacher, are you crazy? What are you doing, teacher Jay-Z? Come on, guys, I'm breaking 14 here. 10 is way easier to multiply than 14. So I will do here. 1 times 26, 26. And then I will add 1, 0, because I'm multiplying by 10, not by 1. And here, 4 times 26, 104. Okay, and now, and now, bonitinho, you add 260 plus 104. 0 plus 4, 4. 6 plus 0, 6. 3 plus 1, 3. Ta-da! You got it. Mm, now it's your turn. Let's go. Ha, really smart of you, right? Teacher, now I will break 20 here apart. I will do 20 times. <laughs> 20, 20 times what? 14. And then, teacher, I will do 6 times 14. Because for me, it's way easier to do this way. I agree. Because 14 plus 14 is 28. And then I add a 0 because I'm not multiplying by 2. I'm multiplying by 20. Mm -hmm. And here I do 6 times 14. I also can do 6 times 10. Then add 6, four, six times 4. 84. Again, what do I need to do to find here the final product? I need to add 0 plus 4. 4. 8 plus 8, 16, 6 is day, 1 goes, and here, 2 plus 3, oh, oh, 2 plus 1, 3. Ah, the, the same product. It is all, think a little bit. Let's try another one. Teacher, I know. If I do 7 times 26, is the only multiplication I need to do. Because then I add the result. Ta da! Really smart. So, 7 times 26, 182. And then I add again, 182. Because I don't want 7, I want to 14. 7 plus 7, 14. I add here 2 plus 2, 4. 8 plus 8, 16. 60 stays and 1 goes. 1, 2, 3. Mm, guys, so here together we could find at least three different ways to find the product of 14 times 26. 
Nice, huh? But come here with me that I will show you some strategies that you can use. Guys, remember, when we teach strategies of doing math, that does not mean you're going to do only this forever. Difference here, if you have like different factors, you choose the strategy that's best for you, okay? So let's start here. The first strategy is calling halfling and doubling. That means that one number here I will cut in a half and another one I will make double of it. How can I cut in a half and make double? Teacher, only dividing or multiplying by two. Mm, good job. So here, 16, I will divide by two. And 24, I will mu multiply by two. So 16 divided by two, eight. Mm. 25 times two, 50. Mm. So I can do eight times five, 40. Then I add here the zero. Mm, good job, 400. Teacher, can I keep dividing here? Can I divide eight by two again? Yes, you can. You have four. And if you multiply 50 by two again, you have 100. Again, one times four, four, and then you copy only the zeros. Ta-da! So the first strategy here is halfling, when you divide by two, and here when you multiply by two. Understood? Are you going to use only this one? No, it depends the factor that you have, okay? Let's see here, this is another strategy. Rewriting. When we write, we write again something. Here, we're going to rewrite a multiplication fact. What that means, teacher? That means that I will choose here one number to write in, a mo in another multiplication sentence. Mm, let's do it together, it's better to understand. I can do seven times four, that I know that's 28. I broke here apart. And then, teacher, I will do times 25 teacher, but this looks for me way more complicated than the first one. Guys, no, no, no. Because here we are going to do 4 times 25 first. 4 times 25, it is 100 because it's 25 but 25. 25 plus 25, that is 50. Then 50 plus 50, 100. And here we are going to keep here. 7 times 100, I understood, teacher. So I do 7 times 1, 7, and then I only got the zeros. Yes, that is true. So here, rewriting a number. Deal? Easy? Mm -hmm. And the last one. Oh, the last one, guys. You are tired of knowing. It's friendly number. When you add or... You if you want to subtract here to make one number easier to multiply. Here, for sure, if I add 2, I will have 200. It's way easier to multiply by 5 than 198, right? I know that here, 200 multiplied by 5, it is 1. I do like this, 2 times 5, 10. Then I add the 0. So I got what? 1,000. But you guys, remember that I add here 2. I need to do 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is equal 10. So what? Uh oh, times 5, just one minute. It's equal 10. So what do I need to do, teacher? Guys, if you add here, you need to subtract 10 here. It is equal 990. Understand? I add 2 here to make this number easier, to make friendly number. Then I multiply here the number that I add and I subtract here in the end. Guys, so three different strategies, okay? So, which one you need to use? 
the one that you think is better for the factors you have, okay? It depends of the situation. It depends of the situation. So here I have two questions for you. Multiply using mental math and tell me the strategy. Mm, teacher, <laughs> it's too easy because, oh, guys, pause the video, okay, to do it. Then you, you find here the answer with me. Teacher, I know, I know that if I add one here, this number will become 200. It's way easier to multiply. Huh? Good for you. Two times two. Oh, oh, two times two. No, excuse me. Six times two, two twelve. Then I add the zeros. Is that all that I need to do? Yes? No, teacher. Remember that I added one here. I need to do one times six. That is six. And I will subtract to here. Mm, that is true. So I will have 1,194. Okay? And this is another one. What can you do? Think a little bit. I teach you, I think I will use the strategy of dividing here by 2 and multiplying by 2. Oh, it's doubling and halfling strategy. Uh oh, so here I will multiply. It's times, times 2. Okay, so 36 divided by 2, 18. And here I know that 2 times 25, it is 50. Can I keep this? Yes, I can divide by 2 again and multiply by 2 again. So here, 18 divided by, by 2, 9. And 50 times 2, 100. Oh, then I won't do this. 9 times 1, mm? 9. And here are the zeros. You did a good, 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 good job. Guys, it is easy. So, mental math, to multiply, we have three strategies. Halfling and doubling is the first one that we use it here. Rewriting, so we get here a number to rewrite the multiplication sentence. And the friendly number. Be careful, if you add, in the end you need to subtract, okay? So, three strategies to help you to understand mental math to multiply so please don't give me this face anymore because now you know how work okay see you next video i hope you like it bye bye